Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, here with a fake Grand Order video. Now, what's today's video going to be about? Well, you should know if you read the title, but let me quickly give you a backstory. So, go to the summon screen. Um, as you can tell here, I have less quartz than the last time I did a video, about 30 less, and the 15 tickets that I had are now gone. Um, so, I badly wanted... So currently on Summer 1, I have an MP1 Summer Martha. I had I had an MP2 uh, Summer um, Summer Saber over here, and I had an MP4. That was at the end of the Summer 1 um, event. Uh, that's what the current levels were. It was 1, 2, and 4. So when this banner first came around, I said, well, I'm going to try and see if I can get um, the first... Uh, Marie, I'd like, I need my last Marie copy. I like Marie a whole bunch, so let me try and get um, another one. So I did a couple ticket summons, ended up pulling uh, <laughs> Saber over here, Archer, at least once. And then recently with the reset, we got, uh, at the end of it, we had um, 10 tickets because of the campaign. And then we had 5 tickets because a new month started. And with 15 tickets, I said, all right, let's try and see if we can get one Marie dupe. That's all I want from this banner. I love Summer Saber. I think she's very good. But I MP3 is perfectly good. Um, I just want the Marie. Just because I want her MP5. I don't have a single 4 Servant MP5 at all. Um, let's flash forward. So yeah, Summer Saber is now MP5 and Summer Marie is still MP4. <laughs> um, so today's video, I'm actually going to be using her and seeing her damage. Unfortunately, I do not have a uh, Tamamo, who is the current arts uh, supporter in North America. I don't have her, which is very unfortunate, so I have to rely on friends for that part. Um, her skill 1 is at level 10, but I have to work on her skill 2 and 3 now, because when I first got her, uh, when she was NP1, um, I never thought she would need anything more than the skill 1 cooldown reduction, and now I have to actually go in and finish her off, because... Five! Five! What, so what does MP5 give you for her specifically? Well, um... In MP1 it's 900%, and then at MP5 it is 1500%, and she also hits 10 times, so she's an arts, uh, and she's an arts, um, noble phantasm. Alright, so this is the team I'm also going to be using her on as I set up the specific stage against the get again. We'll go into it here. As I specifically also look for a Tamamo friend. Oh, Tamamo, they're just not around very much in North America. You have to really look for them. Thank you, Dragon Lord. So I'll be using this uh, Craft Essence with her because it gives her 40% starting and 25% NP gain, which is very good. She already has extremely good NP gain. Uh, I wish I actually had this at full max on limit bound. Uh, looks max on limit bound because it gives you, I believe, 50 NP and a couple more NP gain, but. It gives you, I think, 30% MP gain and then 40% MP charge, which is really good. Um, I'm done. And I'm going to be using Waver, who is the all-purpose, and I have Golden Catches as Carp. And then I have uh, this one specifically for the 10%, and also it's arch-focused. Arch so let's go into it. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up, please. Help support. Comment how you feel about Summer Saber. Do you have any units in MP5? Because I, I didn't ever think I would get one, specifically Imminent Limited. I honestly thought it was going to be Waver because I have always get like, Waver a whole bunch. Um, this is a great first rotation. Alright, let's go. So, here's the good thing about Saber, which she doesn't really need to be MP5 for. She's really good at this. Um, she can loop like insane. Let me see. So I'm going to use this. Use that. She's gonna be, uh, yeah, then there you go. Use it right there. Okay. And then with this, use this. Um, I do have to kind of get lucky with my arch cards, but it's fine. Um, I, it's funny, because the Zero video, I specifically, either I said it, or I thought I said it, I was thinking of saying it, that it's way, way, way easier to get a fully uh, MP5 five servant as a full, as opposed to pulling one copy of Anger to Manyu from the uh, free to play um, banner, and I was 100% right because that literally happened to me the next time. 
Ooh, that's kind of a bad... That's a bad setup. So, I don't... I, I can't use it right now. I'll wait. There we go. Um, man, it's just... I never thought it would literally happen to me in, like, the next video. It's insane to me. Ouchies? I didn't actually want to kill that dude, so that's actually kind of bad for me. Uh, if I use this... Actually, I think if I just do this, I should be perfectly fine. She still has all those, all those arts buffs. Nope, apparently it was not enough. That's what I get for testing fate. Alright, let's see. If I get some arts cards, I think there's three here at the end. Yeah, that's not going to be much of an issue, though. Ooh, that's kind of an issue, though. Let me see. Let me see here. Hmm... Hmm. I mean, she does gain a lot of it back, but I don't have enough to fully loop it. So I got very unlucky with that. If I had someone like uh, BB, it would probably help a little bit more. Oh, you know what? I should totally use BB next time. That's what I'm going to do next time. Uh, but for right now, let's go in here. Oh, wait, she can totally... That's right, I forgot. Tomo is actually very good for that. So I'll use this, this, that. Uh... It's good to look into investing into Tamamo, by the way. Um, she's kind of underrated, I feel. Um, I know I specifically underrate her a whole bunch. Um, but obviously, with um, the arts looking into the future, without the idea of there being a new arts supporter, um, I would never think of her very much. But now that there actually is one, um, and you can get her from the free SSR ticket that's coming in like a year or two, uh, she's actually pretty good for the future, I think, if you want to invest in her. Swimming! I don't think he's gonna be able to kill with this guy. I don't think so. Yeah, because all her buffs are gone. Dealt a good amount of damage, though. Alright, let's see. That's kind of more what I want, but... Fortunately, everything else is on cooldown waiting, so... Use. Oh wait, actually, this lasts for three turns, so I can just use it. Use that. Okay. You got him. I said you got him. Kill him. There you go. Good job. Yeah, it's a shame I don't have another Tamamo friend. If I, uh, Tamamo. I don't, I don't have my own Tamamo. God damn, why can't I speak? Um, she'd be fantastic with that, um, that support right there. Summer Splashu. Uzubisu. And we got one bus ass unit. Alright, go. She should be able to easily kill these two. No, no issue here. Time for a swim. Yeah, so the... Unfortunately, there's not really a damn. <laughs> Decent amount of damage. Really? Stupid arts cards. If one of those was a freaking quick card, I mean. Alright. Uh, she's gonna be able to finish this off. Yeah, okay, let's quickly use that. And I'll start actually building up for the other team idea just to see if I can get her in a perfect loop, looping formation. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Having almost a good rotation. Unfortunately, I did need two arts cards. I did not get that. But here we go. We'll use that here. We're also this far in, so Waver doesn't actually have any of his buffs. Um, swap in here. Swap in there. Whoop! And here's Beaming. Like that. Wrong card, but it's fine. I meant to use this one. But at least I figured it out. Use this here. Then go right into it. Thankfully. Unfortunately she doesn't have any other buffs, but this is specifically just to show off how quickly she can get it. With double arts cards, it's way more effective, obviously, but. And also, with all her buffs, she would have been able to. Oh, she did wipe the floor with that guy. See, that's the problem when you go one quick. Alright, let me try again. Wah! Finally! Oh my god, this took forever to actually get set up, by the way. So, there we go. We're gonna use this. 
do this. You also notice that I'm on the third part of this fight. I should also mention she also has a new um, craft essence. It's Dive to the Blue. It increases Arc Card's effectiveness by 10% and MP Strength by 10%. And you begin the battle MP Charge at 50%. It's the recent um, Summer 3... No, Summer 2. Yeah, Dive into the Blue is Summer 2, because I have two of them. Uh, okay, switch you out. Bring in BB. Another thing I forgot because I forget I should not be targeting the Jotun first because uh, your NP gauge amount is actually predicated on um, how much over damage you do. So let me quickly use that. Use that. There we go. It's locked in place. Come on. We got this. She should be able on, I think, the second hit. Um, Start getting some overcharged damage from this. I did this for so long and I was like, what for what real point is it? <laughs> There's no without there we go. That makes it almost all worth it. It would have been so hilarious if she did not end up with over a hundred percent after all the work I did to try get her trying to get her to this part where she's using two arts cards. Oh man. Let me use this. Use this. And then I'm gonna end it with um, this. Uh, it's so funny after everything I went through. Man! Anyway, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'm really happy that I have her at MP5. I'm really sad I'm never gonna get Summer Marie, though. Because I'm not going back in that banner. Ever. Never. And that's the only banner she's ever shown up in, so. Till next time, everyone. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! でも勝ちは勝ちだよな。うん。